Hi there, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to video 8.1, Workplace Learning and Technology. We will begin with two analysis questions and then move on to examine the evolution of web technologies. And then we'll look at the range of technologies used in workplace learning. And finally, we'll wrap up the video with two synthesis questions. For the first analysis question, I'd like you to recall a personal workplace learning experience where technology was used. Do you think it was used correctly? Then I'd like you to think about how digital technologies are used where you work. How are they used formally, informally, and socially? Each of the topics covered throughout this course refers to the inclusion of digital technologies to some degree or another. Since the adoption of PowerPoint for use in training presentations in the late 1990s, it's virtually impossible to discuss any form of workplace learning without reference to technology. Therefore, the focus this week is specifically on how technology is used to meet workplace learning needs. Web 2.0 is often referred to as the early internet, which began to have commercial impact beginning around 1995. These early websites were mostly read-only, but users, often customers, could fill in online forms or send emails to communicate with organizations. Pages and entire sites were static, and the mindset was that the organization that put information on the web page owned the content. Web 2.0 really began to take off around the year 2000. The biggest difference was the ability for users to interact with organizations and other users. This meant that the focus was drawing away from organizations that post the material and moved towards a sense of community amongst users. Blogs and wikis were some of the first Web 2.0 sites that really showcased this interaction. By 2006, Facebook was leading the way in social media, which has exploded into dozens of websites and applications. You can tweet, link, and pin in an instant. Web 3.0 appears to be the direction the internet is heading. Some believe the web will evolve to act almost like a personal assistant. It will have personalized web content, searches, and knowledge. This consolidation of content is currently happening. Just search the phrase semantic web and you may be looking at the near future of the internet. This consolidation will allow us to use the internet as an optimum way to bring together various searches. For example, if you're going out with friends to see a movie and then have dinner, instead of searching for, say, a comedy movie and then another search for an Italian restaurant, you could type in a list of comedy movies currently playing in Oshawa that are within five kilometers of an Italian restaurant. While this type of search won't work today, it will certainly work in the near future. In fact, it's becoming more like a personal assistant every time we use the web. Currently, search engines such as Google filter out what it doesn't believe is relevant to our searches. It removes redundancy and is somewhat geographically biased. It learns through previous search terms and the sites we visit. Deloitte has identified a number of broad technology themes that illustrate how integrated technology is in workplace learning. The first are messaging and productivity. You have most likely used many of these tools, or if not, you know what they are. Collaboration and communication tools are also familiar to you, I'm sure. But you can see many of the everyday technologies we use for learning at the university are also used in business. Business application and crowdsourcing are two areas you may not have yet used. If we look at business applications, we would argue that self-service expense forms are not part of workplace learning. But HR systems may be used for that if it imparts knowledge. Finally, connectivity and mobility are definitely tools and resources used in workplace learning. Now, the purpose of this table is to help you see first how many tools you're already familiar with, and secondly, how these tools may be used for workplace learning. And remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg because new tools and applications are created and adopted very quickly by individuals, businesses, and organizations. 
Today, workplace learning continues to adapt and adopt Web 2.0 technologies. If you're a learner in the workplace, you may use some of these as part of your social or informal workplace learning plan. If you are in HR or the CLO, then you must be aware of emerging technology to help your continuous reassessment of training needs of your organization. There are two synthesis questions for this video. First, what ways have digital technologies affected workplace learning over, say, the last five years? Finally, create a list of 12 different 2.0 technologies, and then figure out how these tools could be used for different learning strategies. You may find that this list could help you in your second PBL assignment. Technology is with us every day and in almost everything we do. It can sometimes be very easy to forget how it impacts us simply because we're so used to it. In the next video, we will take a closer look at some of these technologies and the digital workplace framework. See you soon.